could have perspired and whatever jerry juice you had in your hair could be running down like come on you know how they be spraying their hair to make their hair stiff that stuff can get a chemical reaction from the sun and your eyebrows could be flying up without you you don't know what you look like after you leave a mirror that's how it is with the word of God. You don't know nothing that you don't do. Amen. I'm, I'm coming over here. Deacon Edwin and Deacon Jan, they helping me. I'm going to give them $5 each. I'm going to give you $5.75. I'm going to give you $5.95. All right, I'm going to give you $3.75. Now, see, now this is what I'm trying to tell you. You don't know the word of God like you think. Amen. 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 God did not design you like that. He designed you and I that the only part of the word of God you know is the part that you do. I don't care how much you've read. I don't care how much you study. I don't care how much you pray. None of that counts. It's only what you've done. If that was the case, God would be praising Bibles. Because they're full of the word. Right, Deacon Mike? The Bible is full of the word. God will be going like, oh, mighty Bible. Oh, you're full of my word, mighty Bible. You don't work like that. You can read the Bible. Oh, I'm a walking Bible. I'm a walking Bible. God is like this. God's not like this. You know, like walking Bible, do something. You'll have somebody come up and invent the Bible that walks. Come on. Tell me, I'm a walking Bible. I'm a walking Bible. What'd you do, walking Bible? Right. Why, when they smacked you, you ran them over with your car, walking Bible? Amen. Running out your house butt naked. Why, walking Bible? It's Friday. <laughs> See, the world's coming to an end, and we have one response, well, two responsibilities. Live holy and preach. Amen. Tell people off with a smile on your face. You know, you look like you're going straight to hell. But I can get you out of that. I mean, you, that was stupid. That was stupid what you did. But I can get you forgiven. You know, you want to know? Don't look like this. You sinners. Huh? The reason Christ was on the cross because of you. Not me. Christ was on the cross because of you. <laughs> you ain't going to win nobody like that. Because of people like you. You give Christianity a bad name. See, you can't witness like that. You got to tell people, yo, listen, man, I was as lost as you. I was a mess like you. Matter of fact, I started your mess. Some of you are the originators of the mess you in. Some of you are so good at sin, Satan has your trophy in hell. And he's about to let you raise some, get some people saved to go and snatch your name out of hell. Jesus. Jesus. Before Deacon Edwin was saved, his name was Shorty. He had a spot in hell. Shorty spot. He got saved. He led like 100 people to the Lord. They went down there with an eraser. I heard one one person, Deacon Edwin, witnessed to, he said, Lord, just, just let me use my water pistol. I'll go in hell and I'll erase Deacon Edwin's name from hell. Right. See, when you really get on fire for God, you'll charge the gates of hell with a water gun. Give me my mother back. Loose my drug addict brother. But when you don't have right salvation, you're all your family members are sinners and you're crying in the bedroom. They won't respect me. They won't, they won't listen to me. They won't respect me. We expect them to do. They are just like you were. You better go in there and eat with them, talk to them, smile at them. And when they give you a chance to talk, then you talk. You go hide in the bathroom. Ah! But then you get hurt in church. Talking about, Ain't no love in this house. Oh, yeah, go back home with your old little relatives calling you doo-doo and all this other kind of name. Call you a fanatic, but you won't say there's no love in the church. What channel am I on now? Come on, listen to me, everybody. I'm trying to get out of here. What manner of people you should you be? 
You shouldn't be cute right now. If you look nice, look nice, but at least have fire coming out your mouth. Except if you want to marry somebody. If you want to marry, make sure you talk sweet. But if you don't want to marry him, burn him up. Yeah, Yo, you look like you're going straight to hell. You talk to me like that. And you just talk about it. You just talk about, you know, fornicators, they, they go straight to hell. Yeah, you know, you just do something. Just go off. Amen. Stop talking about, I don't like when these men talk to me. Well, why are you not wearing your size clothes? Amen. You were 12 and you wearing 10. Why? <laughs> Man ain't got no job and he got new clothes on, new sneakers. He ain't got a job. We don't try to lie to some woman. Just bum me till you get a job. How do you think I got my wife? Uh -oh. Ask her. I was bum me. My hair was never combed. Ask her. She'll tell you I had holes in my sweater. She's, it was it's like no, there was no desire in him. Nobody wanted me. I was winning. <laughs> see y'all, see y'all, see y'all crazy. You find yourself too attractive that people want to touch you. You ever seen a rotten apple in a, in a, in a fruit stand? Nobody want to touch it. I was a rotten apple. I look like this. And I always criticize people. You didn't come to church. What? You sick? You died? You backslid? They're like, we don't want to be around him. I won. God opened up that woman's eyes. Man, she said, I'll go to immigration right now. She said, Mommy, please, Mommy, please, let's become American citizens so I can marry Reverend Rich. I said, it's okay. I'll sign your card. <laughs> you might as well laugh. Light now. Nobody stole nothing from you. Amen. But some of you, you know, if you're attractive, you know, just take it down unless there's a man around you that's worth looking that good for. Why give some bummy man that? He's going to lust after you anyhow. Amen. Just save some stuff. Amen. I remember this. Young, I'm leaving here. I'm, I'm, I'm going to finish this last thing. I remember this young guy on my job. You know, he, um, he, was, he got engaged. And he just looked at the woman. She was plain Jane. But he believed he fell in love with her. He said, but I, I think I was brother. He said, well, when we got married, whoa, whoa. Y'all figure the rest out. She ain't show him who she really was until he got married. He was like, man. I'm telling you, I'm selling sackcloth outfits, ladies. Get you a sackcloth outfit, and when it's time to reveal, that man will be like, oh! Because, most, see, most women don't want to. See, y'all like little dogettes. Y'all know the dog is sniffing, and y'all want to be sniffed. But you don't understand, a sniffer won't marry you. Y'all need to just reserve some stuff, because the world's coming to an end. <laughs> you ever see stupid movies? They got virgins. Oh, I don't want to die a virgin. Doopy, though, you're going to go to hell. See how they make you think that sex is the ultimate. It's plummeting. All right, let me go. There's some people still in here young. No, I gotta go. They, they're young. They're like 30 years old. James chapter 1. I gotta get out of here. Y'all still here? I know you're afraid to do it, but point at somebody and say, when last time you preached to somebody? See, y'all wanna act like I'm on crack. I'm not on crack. In order for you to survive what's about to happen, you need to be preaching. I'm not talking looking cute. I'm not talking condemning people. I'm talking preaching. I'm talking about telling somebody, Jesus loves you. The world's coming to an end. Do you want a ticket out of here? Yeah. Hand out tracts until you get bold enough. And the best thing to do about handing out tracts is at least read the tract. <laughs> Got people handing out tracts they never even read it. Lay my church on the back. <laughs> you might as well just give them, give them a little note. Jesus. Tracks ain't never lead nobody to Christ. It's when they read the back of it and they said, Are you ready? Call this number. 
Well, some people might have said the prayer out of the back. They might have got saved that way. That's what I meant. Look at somebody bold until they're not afraid of you. The churches are not growing the right way. Churches are growing numerically, but nobody's growing with power. Pretty soon, I am going to be speaking fluent Korean, fluent Indian, fluent Spanish, fluent Filipino, fluent Italian. I'm going to speak everything fluently in tongues. Because God's going to get them all saved. We're all going to speak the same language. I don't know what you're saying. Oh, I understand that. You better understand, only in the church they become one. Black people look black to some people. White people look white to some people. Red people look red to some people. But when you're all covered by the blood of Jesus, you don't look like people. You look like God's children. I ain't get no amens from the president side of the church. You heard that, right? Did he say black? Did he use the word black in church? I'm leaving. I'm, no, I'm going to leave, man. But people still call me black. I'm Pastor Rich. My father used to say, you got two things to do, boy. Stay black and die. I believe that. Until I got saved. I said, I got one thing to do. Live holy. That's my job, live holy. I ain't supposed to die. You go die. Everybody else go die. My job, live holy. Amen. If you call me black, because you won't call me black, but I, ain't, I don't have to stay black. I'm going to stay holy. Amen. I told you what happened to me when I went to Barbados for the first time, and I didn't know about black people can tan. I didn't know that. I was dumb, stupid, though. You know, like the, the lighter color people would come back from vacation. They all talk about how dark they got. And it was a compliment. So I was dumb. I was a bad. Any men, any real men here? See, men don't want, don't want to tell you the truth no more. Men love compliments. They just act like they don't. Men thrive on compliments. Otherwise, they wouldn't beat each other up. They don't beat person up without the person saying, you got it. They don't just beat you to beat you. They beat you to get you to confess, you got it, you the man. Men love compliments. They just don't tell you. So I was dumb. And so I went to Barbados. And, you know, anybody ever been to Barbados? You ever been out the block? The sun rises in Barbados. It's the island furthest to the east. So the sun is on Barbados all day long. And I didn't know. I am ultra stupido. So I'm in the sun all day. And I'm, I'm not lying. I'm brown. I got black. I got, I mean, I'm talking about black, complimentary black. I went to work, and they said, oh, look how dark you got. I was like, <laughs> I got my compliment. That's what I wanted, flash. One day later, my skin started burning. <laughs> Ain't nobody tell me nothing like this. And I'm telling you, it's like a movie. I'm like, then I went like this. You know, you just wipe your face. Skin started coming off like a lizard. See, there's things you'll do for a compliment. Come on now. Won't you let God compliment you? How's God going to compliment me? I preach. I don't insult God by calling him the landlord. What do you mean landlord? I don't say God's the man upstairs. He's got a son named Jesus. Unless you live in a Latino neighborhood and the landlord name is Jesus. <laughs> Stay with me. Stop throwing stuff at me. It's going to get good. James chapter 1 verse 21. Y'all still here? Amen. See, if you don't start preaching after today, then I might as well quit. Amen. All right. Thank you, Deacon Edwin. Two of them said amen, but Deacon Edwin said you ain't quitting. I'll take Deacon Edwin. <laughs> you heard them? Deacon Mike, they told me amen. I ain't quitting. Deacon, thank you, Deacon. I'm going to give you $7.55. Now watch this. James chapter 1, verse 21. Wherefore, lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness. Stop being naughty and stop being nasty. This filthiness ain't got nothing to do with dirt. I like Brother Louie. 
Brother Louis is a, he's, you know, he's, he, is, he is the epitome of my heart's better than me. He come to Bible study, grease monkey, damn. Louis is so dirty. I thought he was black. I said, Louis, I didn't know you was that dog. He said, this dirt. <laughs> I said, that's dirt. He couldn't care less because he knew his heart was coming. That man's hands was dirty. I was like, go ahead, Louis, bless me. Most people, they got, I got to go get new clothes. I got to take a bath before I go to church. Well, you, you ain't going to make it. <laughs> I am. Man, I got so proud seeing him that dirty. Because people find all other reasons not to come to the house of God. I can't get a ride. You ain't even got a car. You going to work? Yeah, how you getting a ride? Oh, yeah, I'll make it to work. Oh, yeah. People don't think God's got a... My wife says something like this. God takes the best records. He remembers every time you make it to work and you don't make it to the house of God. He knows every time you call ID church folk and don't call ID sinner folk. Come on. How many here know you call ID church folk? Don't lift your hand. But when your sinner friends call, you be like, ho, ho, what's up? Ito, yeah, neta, oh, neta, oh, yeah. Your hair is what? Cream, oh, yeah. That's pastor. No, 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 it's the end of the month. He's probably looking for an offering. <laughs> I got to leave. God's taking notes, people. Look at somebody say, I'm a preacher. Wherefore, lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness and receive of meekness the engraft word of God, which is able to save your souls. But be ye doers of the word and not hearers only, doing what? Deceiving yourselves. For if any be a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like a man beholding his natural face in a glass. For he beholdeth himself and goeth his way and straightway forgetteth what manner what manner of man he was. See, once you leave a mirror, you don't know what you look like anymore. Imagine what you look like right now. You cannot imagine what you look like. You got to try and go back in your memory to what you look like in the mirror. You can't remember once you leave a mirror. You can't do it. That's the same way when you leave the word of God and don't do it. Going to church don't count. If going to church counts, then some of your, 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 um, your, bring a dog to church and he'll get saved. It's not coming to hear the word of God. It's doing the word of God. <clears throat> Anybody had a, a smart grandmother? My grandmother was tough. I mean, I don't know. Grandma, she used to get high on Coca-Cola. You remember when Coca-Cola had codeine in it? It had cocaine in it. When they changed it to the new Coke, she, she took a sip. What's this mess? And she was already almost 100 then. She said, what is this mess? I think she called because they changed it back to the regular formula. <laughs> but grandma would get in your face. You know, I woke up one morning and walked past her. She grabbed me. She said, what's your problem? I said, I don't have no problem. She said, did I sleep with you last night? I said, no. She said, do you speak to me when you see me in the morning? Amen. <laughs> Ever since that, every time I see grandma, good morning, grandma. Amen. One time she busted me sitting on my mother's bed. She said, get up off your mother's bed, boy. <laughs> see, they grew up in a different time. They saw things right, and they addressed it. For he beholdeth himself and goeth his way, and straightway forgetteth what manner of man he was. But whoso looketh into the perfect law of liberty and continueth therein, he being not a forgetful here, but a doer of the what? This man shall be blessed in his deed. If any man among you seem to be religious and bridleth bridle, bridle not his tongue, but deceiveth his own heart, this man's religion is vain. When you leave the word of God and don't do it, you forget what manner of person you are. Yes. Last week I preached on God's eyes are on you. How many of you act like it? You follow what I'm saying? If you did not act like God's eyes was on you, you was not a doer of the word. 